Welcome to the Honda Video HRN 216 PKA operation. In this video, we'll show you how to properly operate your Honda HRN 216 PKA model lawnmower. Handling and operating a lawnmower can be potentially hazardous to both the operator and those nearby. Never defeat or modify the safety devices on your lawnmower. For complete information regarding the operation of your lawnmower, refer to the owner's manual or visit your Honda Power Equipment dealer. Before operating your lawnmower, let's identify the major components. On the engine, you'll find the fuel tank cap, fuel valve, air filter, oil filler cap, and the muffler. On the mower, there's the handlebar, mower deck, clip director knob, cutting height adjustment levers, wheels, grass bag, and the rear discharge guard. And on the handlebar, you'll find the blade control lever and the recoil starter grip. Now before operating your lawnmower, it's good to get in the habit of performing pre-checks to help keep you safe and your lawnmower operating properly. Always check the engine oil level before starting the engine. To do this, start with the lawnmower on a flat level surface, loosen and remove the oil filler cap. Using a rag, wipe the end of the dipstick clean and then reinsert into the filler neck without screwing it in. Remove the dipstick and inspect the oil level. Adjust the oil level so that it's near or at the upper limit. Reinstall the oil filler cap. Once the oil level is confirmed, inspect the lawnmower for loose components or anything that could pose a safety hazard to you or those around you. Verify that the handlebars are adjusted to a comfortable height for operation. And if you wish to change the handlebar height, support the handlebar and then turn the handlebar lock knob so that the knobs are perpendicular to the bar. At that point, the bar can be adjusted up or down to suit your preference. Turning the lock knob so that the knobs are parallel with the handlebar locks the bar into place. In between mowings, if you choose to fold the handlebars, avoid getting the cables caught, pinched, or kinked while folding or unfolding the handlebar. The cable or engine control system may become damaged, causing the lawnmower to not function properly. No matter what type of grass you're attempting to cut, don't cut more than one-third of the total height of the grass or up to a maximum of one inch of grass to prevent grass clumping and clogging of the grass bag. Your HRN lawnmower has seven settings from one inch to four inches in cut height. To adjust the cutting height, first verify that the engine is not running. When adjusting the cutting height, it helps if you grasp the handlebar and lift the mower up slightly. Then pull the adjustment lever toward the wheel and move it into the desired height. Be sure to adjust front and rear wheels to the same height. Gasoline is highly flammable and explosive, and you can be burned or seriously injured when refueling. Stop the engine and let it cool before refueling. Keep heat, sparks, and flames away, and refuel only outdoors. Wipe up spills immediately. Your Honda HRN 216 lawnmower is designed to run on a pump octane of 86 or higher, with an ethanol content of no more than 10%. Before adding fuel, Turn the mower off and allow it to cool, and then move the mower to a flat, level surface. Loosen and remove the fuel filler cap. From a clean fuel can, fill the fuel tank up to the ridge in the tank as shown. Reinstall and tighten the fuel cap until it clicks. Wipe up any spills immediately. Exhaust contains poisonous carbon monoxide gas that can build up to dangerous levels in closed areas. Breathing carbon monoxide can cause unconsciousness or even death. Never run the lawnmower in a closed or even partially closed area where people may be present. Because the cutting blades start to rotate as the engine is started, it helps to start the lawnmower over a clear or mowed area so that blades can turn freely. To start the engine, begin by turning the fuel valve to the on position Hold the blade control lever against the handlebar, 
Pull the recoil starter grip until you feel resistance. Then, pull briskly and return the recoil grip gently once the engine has started. To stop the engine at any time, simply release the blade control lever. It's good practice to turn the fuel valve to the off position any time the engine is off for an extended period of time. The clip director can be adjusted to either the mulch or bag settings to achieve the desired mowing results. To adjust the clip director knob, stop the engine and pull the release lock toward you, and then slide the knob left or right to your desired setting. The knob adjusts the sliding door from the bag position to the mulch position. To discharge the grass clippings, adjust the clip director knob to bag, and then simply remove the grass bag and allow the discharge guard to return to the lawnmower deck. Using the discharge feature allows the clippings to exit directly behind the mower. Don't operate the lawnmower with the discharge guard in any position other than fully closed if the bag has been removed. Once the grass bag becomes 90% full of grass clippings, it's time to empty the grass bag. To remove the grass bag from the mower, stop the engine and simply lift the discharge guard up with one hand. Use your other hand to lift the grass bag up and away by using the grass bag handle. Either place the bag on the ground or lift upwards through the handlebars and then empty the bag. When reinstalling the grass bag, make sure the mower's grass bag channels are not filled with grass clippings. A channel that's filled with grass clippings may cause the grass bag to fall off the lawnmower while mowing. Lift the discharge guard and set the grass bag hooks into the corresponding channels on the lawnmower. Then, lower the discharge guard onto the bag, holding the grass bag firmly in place. For complete information regarding the operation of your HRN216 PKA model lawnmower, refer to the owner's manual or visit your local Honda Power Equipment dealer.